In this video, traders, we're going to look at a question from a viewer, which is, should I take, when should I take profits on my options? Stay tuned. Hey guys, a warm welcome to you. All right, so a question from a subscriber, a viewer, Timur Mohamedov. Thank you very much for your question. I appreciate all you guys' questions. You guys are asking some really good questions. Uh, hi, I'm trying to trade stock options on my paper trade account. The problem is that I don't know when to take profits after 20%, 50%, or 100% increase of options price. Could you please comment on that? Thank you. Well, I appreciate your question. And it's good that you're trading the paper account to get yourself going without risking real money, getting your strategy nailed down before you go into trading real money. All right, so the question is this. I've got my options trade on. When do I start to take my profits? And the, and the, arts and the uh, kind of uh, specific levels were 20%, 50%, or 100% of the options price. Now, Options are a great trading vehicle, guys. I don't trade them that much, but only because I don't want to spread myself too thin. But they are super, super trading vehicle. I think the weeklies, I was very aggressively trading those when those first came out. I think there's loads of opportunity in options. Uh, and if you can work out and kind of get in the groove with it, then you, know, you can become very, very, very good at trading options. But this is the question, is that very often options are gonna rise heavily in value, but most of the time you're risking a lot of money. It depends how you trade, of course, and depending on what strike and all this kind of stuff, whether you're buying and selling options appreciated. But let's assume you're buying um, you know, an out of the money call option on a long trade, uh, and let's say you're kind of you're risking it all. So markets come lower. You think this is a bottom. You've bought, let's say, a call option with an expiry up here. Okay, that's going to be relatively cheap, and you're probably going to be risking it to go to zero. But that has got a potential then to kind of double in value, triple in value, or let's say take it up by 20% or go up by 50%. You know, the options move is much more exaggerated because at the moment, at that point in time, it's very unlikely to get a big reversal, then all of a sudden it comes in the money, you're gonna make a lot of money from that. And so the question is when you take the profit. The thing you've got to think about with options, and it's easy to fall into this trap, and I appreciate where this guy's coming from with this, is that you need to trade the chart and not the option. Okay, so you need to be looking exclusively at the chart and not the option. You can't be looking at the option and saying, ah, well, I want to make double my money, I want to make 50% of my money. Because of the time component and the theta component, you are going to end up trading not price, but the derivative of price, which you'll come unstuck with. Because it could spike instantly, right? This could spike instantly and could go up 50%, and you think that's great. But in reality, there's so much more on the table. It's a pure reversal. Maybe there's volume in there. Maybe it's broken this trend line. Maybe there's all sorts of things that would indicate this is going to go so much higher. And you're taking quick profits, but you're trading based on the profit, the price of the option, not the price of the stock, and not the price action of the stock. You know, similarly, you could find that it's kind of drifting lower and then kind of stagnating and pushing back up, but your option might not be moving because it might be moving very, very slowly back up, but the time decay is hammering the option, and so you end up being, oh, well, the option's only up a little bit, uh, I don't want to take it, but in reality, it might have come back up to your a kind of a VWAP or something, or some sort of mean reversion level that you decided to take, and it's taken so long to get to it, that the decay on the option, um, has really hammered that price, and it's not that great, but in reality, you need to look at the chart and go, well, it's done what I, what I set out to do. I bought that option, whether it's a weekly option, whether it's a monthly, and this is a longer time frame, in which case it won't be a view app, but you get the point. I bought this because I expected X to happen. X has happened. Now I need to take the profit. And if you're waiting for 50% or 100%, the trades change. The trades change from a mean reversion trade back to a VWAP to a complete different uptrend. So you, you're kind of moving your target in price away as you go, because the longer obviously it takes to hit that target, the, 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 the cheaper the option's gonna be. Whereas if it does it instantly, you're gonna get more on the option. So really the point is, is to trade the underlying market that you're trading. Forget about the options price. Of course, if you're managing risk and you're not looking for it to go to zero and you've got something, you've got to have some eye on the options price. So you're cutting it and you're taking your loss when you expect to take your loss. But otherwise, you need to be focused purely on the price action of this because this is the most important thing. You know, this is how you're making your money. You're making your money on your judgment of this. And you know, the time it takes, sometimes you're gonna get lucky, it's gonna happen instantly, it's gonna you know, positively affect your option. Sometimes it's not. 
but that's the kind of risk you're gonna take when you're trading options as opposed to trading directly in the underlying. So keep an eye on the underlying, make your decisions based on the underlying and try not to think too much about this because on one hand, you might end up taking profits way too early. It spikes up quickly, gives you double your money, but hey, there could be 10 times your money on the table. You could have got a gem of a position that's on a full reversal, news has just come out, bang, it's just gonna rip up, finish up 300 points, it was down 100 points, you've got a, a weekly option that's got one day to expiry and you're gonna kill it and you're capping your profits at 50%, that's no good. Similarly, the other way around. You know, similarly, you might be trying to wait for 100% and it's gone up and it's hit the target, it's done all it's gonna do is fill the gap, it's done everything that you expect it to do, but you're waiting for more and it becomes a different trade then. Different trade, different environment. Uh, you know, the ATR might be way up there. It's all sorts of things and so, Focus on the underlying, focus on the market you're trading, use the patterns and price with that. And if you wanna trade options to kind of find that sweet spot, find the opportunity when you've got a cheap option, you can make many, many times your risk reward back, then by all means do that, but make sure you're looking at that chart. All right guys, take care, appreciate the question, bye-bye.